and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. In today's video, we're going to take a look at one of my cockroach species, the Domino Cockroach. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, so here we have the Domino Cockroach, or Freya petiveriana. As you see, these are absolutely stunning species of cockroach. These are adults that you've seen here. Um, they're black with those white spots. So if the nymphs, you can see a few nymphs just moving around, uh, one they are going over the cork, don't have a... Right, they're just black all over, and then you, as you can see, they can still get covered in the substrate quite a lot. They have uh, kind of like sort of hairs on that just grip substrate, so it can be really difficult sometimes to find the nymphs inside the substrate. But the uh, the adult uh, of all the Freya genus just tend to be really, really strikingly coloured and stuff, and kind of almost a velvety look to them. Now, these guys they, uh, come from India and Sri Lanka, sometimes known as a sort of desert cockroach. Uh, they are found kind of in the Kind of in the grasslands in onto the edge of the desert and stuff but these guys mimic a species of beetle a species of predator beetle the Amphia scatata um which or sometimes called like the domino beetle or six spotted beetle and stuff which sprays acid now these guys don't these cockroaches don't but they're going to mimic that species of beetle because a lot of predators realize that you know that beetle uh, you know has a, this noxious spray and, so, um, and black and white coloration is warning coloration as much as uh, kind of your bright colors are as well so a lot of animals will mimic uh, sort of these colors as even those species of lizard where the uh, the baby lizard mimics uh, the beetle as well now these guys are really uh, quite simple to uh, to keep in captivity so, as with many other species of cockroach a nice base layer of kind of like foresty uh, kind of mix and stuff and lots of leaf litter so the nymphs do spend pretty much all the time underground so uh, the adults will come out and about they are fairly kind of crepuscular so you will sometimes see them and about during the day a little bit but more sort of in the early evening into the night so now these guys can climb up all smooth surfaces so you want to make sure that you know you've got a nice secure enclosure uh, you may need you know some barrier around the top um, to stop them from, you know, again, if you've got any kind of uh, vents that they can squeeze through, they can squeeze through quite a small gap sometimes, especially the nymphs again. Now feeding these, I feed them just like many other species of cockroach. Um, the leaf litter is their food as well as uh, things like rotten wood, uh, twigs of lichen and stuff, and then I will put in uh, some fruit and veg uh, from these, so things like carrots, sweet potato, apple, um, and then occasional sort of things like fish flake, uh, bee pollen, all this sort of stuff. And as long as you've got males and females when they're adult, they will uh, they will mate, and then uh, once they've mated, the female won't allow any other males to mate with them. And they will uh, start producing their oophicas or egg cases. They can produce uh, a fair few, uh, and they'll uh, just kind of leave them dotted around in the leaf litter for them to hatch out. Well, that is a quick uh, introduction to the domino cockroach. Okay, guys, so that was the domino cockroach. What do you guys think? Aren't they absolutely amazing? I absolutely love these. I think uh, the whole of the Freya uh, genus uh, is one of my favourites. Uh, I love them all. And, uh, and they are fantastic. Uh, but what do you guys think? If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. Do you keep uh, the Domino or the question mark or the orange Domino, any other Freya species? Um, or do you keep cockroaches in general? Are you looking into getting these guys? I would highly, highly recommend uh, these as a species to keep. They are just absolutely fantastic and stunning. So, if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. You can also now become channel members if that's something that interests you. Um, or another way is uh, if you go down to into the description, you'll find links to things like my Patreon if that interests you, um, as well as my merch store if you want any merch at all. There's also an affiliate link for the Spider Shop so you can do all your invert shopping and I get a little bit of commission at no extra cost to you guys. There's also discount codes down there for MK Exotics, horticultural supplies, and for Antscapes as well, as well as uh, links to things like my Instagram and my TikTok. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Take care, and keep rocking.